This morning, Richmond County deputies and GBI agents still at the scene where their brother in blue was gunned down last night, killed in the line of duty. A live look at that scene. And this morning, Alexa Lytle is live from that scene, which is still at least a little bit active at this hour. Alexa, what do you see out there right now? And back to our top story, one of the great sopranos of our time, Augusta native Jesse Norman, died yesterday at age 74. An absolutely incredible voice that will live on in history. She died in New York yesterday, surrounded by her loved ones. Well, remember that feeling you get when your parents would bring your lunch to school and you could show off what you're eating to all of your friends, right? Well, it's 2019 and kids are doing things a little differently now, but is it safe? A lot of people are talking after this photo was posted to Facebook. Well, it is a different age of dating. Mm -hmm. I mean, because everybody is talking, you know, you, a lot of times you meet people on these apps. A lot of younger generations mm -hmm. meet these people on mm -hmm. these apps. So when you get face to face, it probably is like, well, what do I talk about? <laughs> We're learning that Richmond County deputies right now are working that shooting. We're told that it did come in with injuries. That call came in just after three o'clock this morning. You can see at least one deputy with his lights on to the left of your screen is out there. And yeah, no doubt they definitely fill up very quickly. No matter which way you go, you're probably going to run into some delays. So mm -hmm. just expect it as you're heading out the door. It looks like that backup has actually gotten a little bit worse since we last told you about this. This happened near Rebel Road towards mile marker 18. We are working to find out right now if anybody was hurt, how long that lane is going to be closed. But in the meantime, they just want to avoid that area, I-20 westbound in Aiken County. On your side. Hundreds gathered to remember a Thompson mother and daughter who lost their lives in a fiery car crash. Plus an update on the 14s still recovering this morning in the hospital. And a bus burnt to a crisp after going up in flames and somehow more than 40 kids managed to make it off of this okay. This morning we have an update on how they're doing. And Krispy Kreme is celebrating its 82nd birthday today and they want you to celebrate with them. We're going to tell you how you can do it. And good morning at 601 on this Friday. So glad to have you with us. Yep, good to be here. Well, let's take a look now at today's top headlines. A family is safe this morning after a fire takes over their home. The fire just got put out about two, three hours ago. Crews say, though, when they got on scene, flames were coming out of the window and the roof when they got there. You can see kind of the inside looks pretty charred. No word right now what started the fire, but investigators say it did start in the upstairs bedroom. We'll keep you updated as soon as we have more information about this. Family and friends remember a Thompson mother and daughter killed in a fiery crash this week. Nearly 200 people showed up at Thompson McDuffie Middle School last night. That's where 13-year-old Summer Matherly went to school. They started that vigil with song and prayer. Family, friends, and students, all of them shared their favorite memories of Summer. They also prayed for the four other teenagers still in the hospital this morning. It's a tough time for everybody involved. We did check to see how those four other teenagers are doing. Two of them are still in critical condition. One is in serious condition and another is in fair condition. More than 40 kids ages 12 to 17 got out of a charter bus that caught on fire on Thursday. If you take a look at your screen, there's not much left of it. A chaperone on the bus says they thought it was a blown tire. So when they pulled over to look at it, the engine went up in flames. It quickly took over the entire bus. Six kids were treated for smoke inhalation, but officials say they should be okay. Good news to pass along there. A big drug bust lands nearly 30 people behind bars in California. Police found nearly 15 tons of marijuana in several raids. They served over 50 search warrants on illegal growing operations. Now, in addition to that pot, they also found more than 30 guns. They also found dogs, and they put them in the Department of Animal Services custody. Let's take a look at what's happening in other news this morning. Krispy Kreme is celebrating its 82nd birthday today, and they have a deal for you to celebrate with them. The chain says they're offering a dozen original glazed donuts for just a dollar today with any purchase of a dozen. Plus, there's a limited time birthday batter donut that you can also celebrate with. It's cake batter dipped in strawberry icing and topped with sprinkles. Sounds pretty good. It's only available until Sunday, though, so hurry up and get it. Well, Toys R Us is making a comeback this holiday season. They're opening up two stores in Texas and New Jersey this November. It's all a part of a joint venture between True Kids Brands and a new software startup. Well, reports say there's an online shopping experience to follow. Ten more locations are also expected to open across the country in 2020. A new plan to change airplane seats designs could make that worst seat on the plane just a little bit more comfortable. So a Colorado-based startup wants to make the three economy seats staggered instead of side by side. 
Well, that means that the dreaded middle seat would be lower. It would be slightly behind the aisle and the window seats. The company says this allows more space for everybody in the row. It's also supposed to stop uh, fights over elbow space since the armrests would be at different heights. You wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> would you stop touching me? <laughs> you know that, what? That, that is a th you know, once someone kind of claims that that yeah, space. Yeah, it's like nobody like, wants well, to give it up. OK, now I, I don't have an elbow space. Make this worse for me. <laughs> well, I'm jammed in here. I'm just going to stab myself. Yeah, in you're, you're kind of like sitting like <laughs> and then you don't want to lean back. So you're kind of like and then you can't break you know, closing your eyes. Yeah, and, then and if you're, you're in the aisle, you can't put your foot out, you know, or you're like get whipped yeah. by someone. Wait. Damn, the cart comes through, or you can't get up, go to the bathroom. No, like, just, that's why I always, I yeah. have to sit in the aisle seat because there's a lot asking of everyone, like, hey, I'm really sorry, <laughs> got it. Someone's nice and move sleepy. Out. Hey, I gotta go. I mean, you come on. And then you get in your head about it, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's just the travel experience. I tell you it's, what, it's something it else. Has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the airlines, they don't make it any easier because the, you know, the seat size. Well, hopefully, is, they're doing what they can, right? You think? I mean, there's been talks about, you know, like, should they regulate that? Should yeah. they put regulations on, you know, seat sizes and stuff? Because they want to make more money. Right. So they're going to shrink the seat sizes mm -hmm. and the leg room. And I, I don't know. And, until there are regulations, it'll probably get worse. <laughs> Great story to tell you about after the break. Some local girls are putting an old sport back on stage. We're going to show you how they are letting their feet do all the talking. Chance for rain. Haven't been able to say that much at all lately. Different vantage point this morning out at the Calhoun Expressway. You can see the first signs of daybreak at 6.07. Stay with us. We're back in just three minutes.